Damn, son, where'd you find this? Alright y'all, so major breaking news from Cosmic Wonder. He's dropped this video uh, yesterday uh, of this Marvel update of the Avengers movies, uh, especially Avengers 5, and I guess we might be getting a new title. Um, might be a reveal, I don't know, we, we don't know, and we got also have the plot for it as well. So, um, so we're about to go ahead and jump in and see what What's the update? And uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Also, go subscribe, Cosmic Wonder. And let's get it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson. And today we have a lot to talk about in regards to the Avengers, and not just the next Avengers film, but the next two Avengers films that we're going to be getting before Avengers Secret Wars. One of those, of course, is Avengers 5, which was formerly, of course, Avengers King Dynasty, now simply titled Avengers 5 until a new title gets released. However, we might have a tiny bit of news on that front. It's more of a speculated rumor at this point in time, but an insider could have hinted at the possible new title for Avengers 5. We also have rumored details about what the plot of the film was or possibly is going to be depending if Marvel Studios changes it. But from what we've heard, Marvel Studios doesn't plan to change too much and that Kang is still going to be the main big bad of the multiverse saga, which I have to say that I agree with that decision because Kang has already been set up in too many ways at yeah. this point in time. And yeah. unfortunately, whether you believe Jonathan Majors was innocent or guilty despite him being found guilty and whether you believe he should come back or not, it looks like Marvel Marvel Studios is not going to bring him back, which means they should just recast the character and move on. They shouldn't get rid of the character altogether, but according to several insiders, Kang is still the villain of the multiverse saga. We are not diving into a new main big bad, which again, I think is the right move because too much has been set up focusing on Kang. But let's talk about this. We'll call it a plot leak for Avengers Kang Dynasty and some other Avengers news as well. And if you want to stay up to date on the MCU and all of the Avengers teams be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out we're also doing a big giveaway more on that at the end so a few rumors flying around this morning on Twitter on Instagram everywhere and one is about Jeff Loveness being fired from Avengers the Kang Dynasty and I'm mentioning this because Marvel Studios has recently been nominated for an award that they have never been nominated for before and it's not a great award and it's connected to the Kang Dynasty now Jeff Loveness was supposed to write a Avengers the King Dynasty, but he also already wrote Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which has gotten a lot of flack, a lot of criticism, and in my opinion, some unnecessary hate. Not saying it was great, but geez. But according to some rumors going around right now, Jeff Loveness was supposedly fired from Avengers the King Dynasty after the negative reactions from Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And now it's been revealed that Ant-Man and the Wasp has been nominated for three different Razzie Awards. And if you're not aware of what the Razzie Awards are, they are basically the worst of awards. And Marvel Studios themselves have never been even put up for this. Morbius has and other things like 20th Century Fox's Fantastic Four have, but never anything from Marvel Studios. They have been put up for the worst supporting actor, including Michael Douglas and newcomer Bill Murray, worst director for Peyton Reed, and unfortunately, worst prequel, remake, ripoff, or sequel category. Again, not really sure it deserves all of that, but that goes hand in hand with Marvel Studios firing Jeff Loveness from the Kang Dynasty because of all the negative reactions that Quantum Mania received. But with this news also comes rumors of what the plot for his Avengers film was going to be for the Kang Dynasty. According to the rumors, Kang Dynasty was reportedly going to gather all the leads of the multiverse saga except for Thor to fight against Kang variants on Earth. The film would have felt grounded and not involved too many multiversal elements. And in my opinion, I think a lot of people would have probably liked that. Now, this could very well still happen. The only question is, will Marvel Studios still include Kang the Conqueror in this film? Because a couple of different insiders recently have been hinting that the new Avengers film, Avengers 5, could simply be titled 
the new Avengers, which makes sense and is very fitting because right now we don't really have an Avengers team. So this would be the new Avengers team. The old Avengers team is done. Captain America's on the moon. Iron Man and Black Widow are no longer here. Thor is apparently not going to be in the next Avengers film. And the Hulk might be a part of the new team, but we do have She-Hulk and Professor Hulk is not really the same Hulk that we knew from the beginning. Plus, we'll have a new leader with Sam Wilson's Captain America and the team will mostly be newcomers. So the new Avengers is a pretty fitting title. Now, as far as them fighting Kang variants on Earth, well, Quantumania did set that up, especially at the end where Ant-Man is asking himself, did he actually save everybody or did he doom everybody? Ant-Man has been reported to be a part of the new Avengers team, along with the Wasp. And this makes sense because of everything they just dealt with with Kang. And again, I think with everything Marvel Studios has done, they're in a little bit too deep to kind of put away from Kang. And since the next Avengers film isn't going to be out for a few years, they have time to figure everything out with recasting Kang and how they're going to move forward to where I think that even if they do decide to rename the next Avengers film, the new Avengers, Kang is still going to be a part of it because the multiverse is still going to be falling apart and incursions are going to be happening because of Kang and all of his variants. And we know that in the next Avengers film, the Avengers are probably going to lose. So having them go up against Kang variants is probably what's going going to make them lose. So even though Jeff Loveness might not be writing the next Avengers film, I do think it's going to be somewhat like this. I still think it's going to be a very grounded film. I do think it's going to have most of the leads, not all of them. I know Thor is not going to be there. We still don't know about the Scarlet Witch, and I don't think Doctor Strange is going to be there as well. Because according to Alex P. from the Cosmic Circus, the Avengers won't have Doctor Strange, and that is why they lose. So whoever the Avengers are going up against with the new Avengers team, they lose. And that sets up Secret Wars, and that sets up the multiversal Avengers team because the Avengers know they're going to need people, heroes, from everywhere. But like I mentioned, there is another Avengers team coming, and that is the Young Avengers. According to the account Great Phase, the Young Avengers project <clears throat> is actively in development at Marvel Studios with a potential release date as early as 2026. Now this comes as a little to no surprise because the Marvels set this up very blatantly and obviously. Sure we did. had Miss Marvel go <clears throat> to Kate Bishop, where we yep. basically saw the start of the Young Avengers. They even mentioned Scott Lang's daughter, Cassie Lang, so right off the bat, we have three young Avengers, Miss Marvel, Kate Bishop's Hawkeye, and Cassie Lang. Now, it's interesting. According to insiders, the Young Avengers project was formerly Vision Quest, the Disney Plus series that Marvel Studios was developing. Now, this project was rumored early on to set up the Young Avengers, so it would make sense that Marvel Studios would simply just change it into a Young Avengers film. They probably realized that that might be a little bit more appealing than a Vision Quest show, especially since Bob Iger and Kevin Feige have pretty much decided they're not going to make something unless they think it's going to be very good. And it's been pretty evident recently that Marvel Studios and Disney really are changing things over at Disney and Marvel Studios. This would also line up with the firing of Jeff Loveness off of Avengers King Dynasty. In their eyes, Quantumania wasn't received very well, it didn't perform very well, so they don't want the same thing to happen with their next project, especially when it's a huge project like the Avengers. Now, it's unfortunate that they fired Jeff Loveness because I think that the connectivity is a good thing with the MCU and since he wrote Quantumania with Kang in it, the new Avengers film could have turned out pretty well. However, Marvel Studios wants to make sure that it's great, which of course I always support. We'll always support them trying to make the best possible movie and show if it's a show they possibly can, especially with so many upcoming exciting projects. But let me know what you think about this news in the comments down below. Is this what you would like the plot for Kang Dynasty, Avengers 5, New Avengers whatever you want to call it, to be. Would you like this movie? Let us know down below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on the MCU. And if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win. Alright, so a lot, a, lot, a lot of shit going on. Um, <clears throat> but they should like keep all that situation with the Avenger King the King Dynasty, they should keep that shit, you know, you know, like a title, like, you know, I don't know, it, it, it's just, I, I don't got nothing else to say, but, like, it feels like that, I, so, yesterday, you know, I, you know, I've, I've been reading my, uh, one, one of my Marvel comic books, and, um, 
And be honest with you, like I, I just had a feeling that I think they're gonna like mess up, you know, Avengers Five. To be honest with you, um, but I know they're probably not gonna mess up the Secret Wars, cause that's like the the biggest epic finale right there, you know, to bring all the OG superheroes. You know, and stuff like that, you know. Um but but like I say, Marvel's not it's not it's not the same anymore, just like DC, you know? Like cause DC, you know, they you know already you uh, know started rebooting the uh movies and shows and stuff, so I don't I'm 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 not I'm not care for for DC right now. This is Marvel universe right here, you know. Um <clears throat> Cause like, cause it just I guess this year go by fast to be honest with you. So I don't know what's their deal. Um, cause like, cause I saw, um, cause I I, I did I did my last video uh you know about about the Avengers Secret Wars, and uh and I saw um one of uh one of my fans uh had comment uh, about. That he um you know that that he's done with Marvel after he's gonna watch um Captain America on the Brave New World and and uh and I forget and L O and Dead and Deadpool three. So I guess he's saying that, you know, um it's not Marvel's not insane anymore. He he, he like I I don't blame him. That that he he did mention about you know majors you know, um they they should they should bring him back but but I understand I really understand that you know they they not gonna bring him back I understand which that that pissed me off at the same time but um but I, I understand they you know they 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 gonna recast some recast the games and stuff for that because the character is you know. It's still a bit bad on the multiverse saga. So what's the point of y'all, you Marvel, you the, well Marvel Studios, like, what's gonna get rid of the character? That's a fucking waste. Like, come on now. Like, y'all, y'all, let y'all, y'all, y'all was playing on with plays Doctor Doom, which that's like introduced the character so fast. That's rushing. That's rushing. You get me? Like. You know, like it. I, you know what? I, I, I got nothing to say. Marvel's not the same anymore. Marvel is done. So I don't know, but they need to get that shit together. That's why. That's why I have to say, cause, cause I know y'all pissed off. I'm pissed off. So, like, like you know, in the past, in the past, um, Marvel movies, man, like. They are amazing. They are amazing. But this, in the new generation of Marvel, is not the same anymore. So, like, that's what I have to say. That's what I have to say. Like, I, I, mm, mm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see, you know, what they're going to do about the young, young Avengers. I really don't care for it. To be honest with you, I really don't care for it. All I care about is, you know, uh, Avengers Secret Wars. That's it. That's that's about it, you know. Like if they're gonna fuck up Secret Wars, I'm done. I'm done with Marvel. So, like, yeah, I don't know anymore. But in any case, that's it for the video for you guys. Make sure you guys follow me on social media. I see you guys in the next video. Gotta be safe for the. God bless you all. See you guys later.